The skeleton beasts are definitely scarier than the Capra demon. Oh my god, I didn't even see him! What the fuck? I actually walked right past him and didn't even fucking see him. Jesus Christ. That's the boss. This thing I'm looking at right here, frozen in time, up against the wall. Ow! You sneaky fuck! I was trying to explain something cool! You bastard! What's going on guys? Godlike Matt, here we are continuing my Let's Platinum. As you can see, I'm donning a new look. Um, this arm is too cool. It was too, uh, tempting to wear. But, unfortunately, I do have to wear Havel's ring to wear it and still maintain quick roll. So, I mean, it's whatever. This armor has a lot of, like, really good defensive stats, so it should, you know, because I, the ring I swapped out for Havel's ring was the Ring of Steel Protection, but hopefully the fact that this is such heavy and good armor, hopefully that'll make up for the fact that I'm not wearing that ring in terms of, like, keeping me alive. But, uh, yeah, this is gonna be our next stop. Uh, this is a level that's also a little bit long overdue. As you can see, I'm following a trend here, mostly just going back and doing the levels that I should have completed already. Because, I mean, I already killed Nito. He's one of the big bosses in this game. Um, one of the, like, lords. So, now this level is extremely fucking short, mind you. And the boss here, as I said in a previous part, um, the boss here is scary, but... Uh, like, in terms of, like, he hits really hard, but he's, he's pretty easy. Now, there's two ways to go here. Down there is a big lava pit. Now, uh, believe it or not, that, all that lava down there can be drained. Or at least, I think so, anyway. I'm pretty sure a lot of that lava goes away when you progress through the lava. And then, there will still be some lava there, but there's actually a way to walk on lava in this game, so... There's some great shit down there. In fact, I believe there's an ember in that lava pit. But, uh... I'm not gonna bother getting the crazy stuff until I, um... What's it called? Get the, uh, the thing that lets you walk on lava. I, I believe it's a ring. There's just a ring you get later in this area that lets you walk on lava. Um, and take, like, no damage. So it's pretty great. Now, that was the fog door to the boss fight. And we are going to have to make a fucking break for it. He might kill me. Just because I, I don't really remember his attack patterns. But I somewhat remember fighting him. And I remember him being easy. So we'll see if that holds true. There he is over there. Now, I want to get as close to him as possible here. Actually, um, here's a tip. Um, the first time you fight him is the best time to fight him because he has not awoken from his slumber. As you can see, I'm pretty close to him and he has no idea I'm here. Uh, you will not get this chance if you die again. Um, if he kills me and I have to come back here and uh like after you wake him up and the boss fight starts and let's say he kills me when i come back through the fog wall he will already be up and alive and he'll aggro as as close to you as the fog gate so he'll be attacking you all the way while you run back up here whereas right now i don't have to worry about him attacking me until i get super fucking close to him so you have an advantage here as opposed to if he's up and awake afterward. Wow, he's awfully fucking, uh... How does he not know I'm here? It's pretty interesting. He's literally looking right at me. I suppose I can just, uh... Throw one of these. Boom! Wow, it does nothing. Literally. Okay. That's cool. Maybe he only wakes up when I grab the item. Oh, Google Plus. Whoa.
What's good, man? Wakey, wakey! How you doing? Ow! I don't do that much to him, sadly. But as you can see, he ain't that tough. As long as you stay close to him, I'm pretty sure he'll only do attacks like that one. Whereas if you walk away from him, he has these crazy high, uh, long range fire attacks that deal a lot. There's not much you can do about them either. Ow. Not much you can do about that move. I don't know what he's doing here. Ow. Gonna health up real quick. At least I more or less know his attack pattern now. Alright. So yeah, as you can see, he's really not that tough. We almost got him. We almost got him. So, like, one or two more sessions of hitting him. Oh, I might not even get him in the next one. I hope I do, though. Come on, kill him. Yeah, bitch. Fuck you. Now, earlier in the game, you can see why he's so terrifying. When he hits you, he does quite a bit. And even with my maxed out lightning spear, I don't do a lot to him. But as you can see, the path does open up. This allows you to go to the next area in this area. But a lot of the lava still remains, as you can see. But we do have access to the next area at the very least. It's just the items that are in the lava pool are uh, still kind of unaccessible. Now, you can cheese it. Um, you can run through the lava, and if you have enough health to survive and pick up the item, then you'll, you'll have the item and you'll get to keep it, but you won't have enough health to run back out of the lava. So, you'll probably just die. But if you have no money, there's nothing wrong with that, right? You could just do it for free. But, uh, yeah, that was the Ceaseless Discharge. What a fucking... What a name. I'm gonna go level up. Now, one thing you will notice about this level that's actually quite terrifying is, uh... A couple of the early bosses in the game are now normal, regular enemies. Like, for example, all those things you see way down there... Those are all Taurus Demons, which is the, uh, the first boss in the game. There's a million of them over there. I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna do that part yet. I'm just gonna go to where I'm supposed to go. But, and also, he's not the only one. Um, you'll also notice, just over here, guarding the way to go, is the Capper Demon. Which is also one of the early game bosses. But, uh, they're, they're a bit of pushovers now. Alright. Well, someone anyway. Aw, oh, that's some bullshit. What is the tracking on that? Oh, I do a lot to him. But he does a lot to me, so he's equally scary. 
I'm still so curious about the, uh... The fucking, uh, the shortcut for the demon ruins to save Solaire. I don't know if I've missed my chance or not. That'd be really interesting if I did. But, uh... Yeah, look how many fucking Capra demons there are. There's, there's, there's five of them. Just right all there. And there's more, too, in the level, in general. Now... What I would recommend, specifically for my situation, I would recommend this. Um, I would use pyromancies on these guys. Actually, what I'm also going to do here is just lure them one by one. Oh, really? Really? He doesn't give a fuck that I'm shooting him? Oh, that's fucking funny. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> wow, if I have no barrels, I can just annihilate this guy. I that's so funny that he doesn't pull. Like, it's kind of dick that he doesn't pull. Because, you know, I wanted to come over here so I can just kill him by himself. I don't know if I do it at the same time. But, uh, because he's so persistent and for some reason will not move from where he is, I have to do it this way. Which, I mean, it's fine, it's funny. And I am doing, like, a decent amount of damage to him. But, anyways, what I was gonna say is I would recommend using pyromancies on these guys. Normally, you know me. I'd like to save my pyromancies for the boss. But the thing is, all the bosses in this area, as you would imagine, are truly fire resistant. Because this whole area is all about fire enemies. Like, the ceaseless discharge, for example, when I threw that fireball at him. I literally did no damage to him. Literally none. So, you know, that sucked. Ow, wee. But at least he dies in one chaos flame. That's nice. That's nice. Oh god, that worm thing. Oh god, that worm thing, though. I wonder if this one will be a little more cooperative. Nope, they're equally all stubborn. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna have to speed this all up immensely. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just, I've never seen enemies this stubborn. Even the dragon wasn't this stubborn when I was shooting him. Every time I fired one arrow at him, he jumped off the wall and be like, what? What? But this guy, you literally don't give a fuck. That sound I'm hearing right now is awful. It sounds like the worm is like peeing lava. That's, that's all I can describe it as. You probably won't even be able to tell what it sounds like because I'm gonna speed this up and the sound will be all distorted and shit. But that's okay. You don't need to hear it. It's pretty gross to be honest. Ew, we almost got him. You like 60 fucking arrows in your face. You like that? Mmm, it's good, man. What is good? Alright, I'm hoping... Uh oh. I, I don't know if these guys will aggro together. I'll be really annoyed if they do. Please don't. Please... Don't... Aggro... Together. Aw, oh, you bitch. Why didn't you die from the remaining lava? You fuck. Alright, well that was interesting. Very nice! Man, they only drop 800 souls. That's pathetic. Every skeleton in the Tomb of Giants would drop either 1,000 or 1,500. Although, I guess... And, and, and that's funny, because I consider these guys scarier than them. Not the, not the skeleton beasts. The skeleton beasts are definitely scarier than the Capra Demon. Oh my god, I didn't even see him! What the fuck?! I actually walked right past him and didn't even fucking see him. Jesus Christ. But, um, like, he totally blended in with the level. He camouflaged me, man. That's dirty. Oh, fun fact. That's the boss. This thing I'm looking at right here, frozen in time, up against the wall. Ow! You sneaky fuck! I was trying to explain something cool! You bastard! But, uh, yeah, that's the boss. When you get to the bottom, he, like, jumps, he unfreezes and then jumps off the wall. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Now, this thing, if I remember correctly, is easy to kill. If I remember correctly. Woo! 
He's feisty. Oh, you fuck. Alright, alright. Wow, he sucks. I don't like him. Woo! Yeah, I'm... Now, most enemies that do a spit usually have, like, corrosive whatever, and it breaks your equipment. Woo! Okay. We got him. I also am pretty sure that he's a unique enemy, and after you kill him, he doesn't respawn. Pretty sure. I mean, it'd be fucking stupid if he did, because his body is literally right over top of the bonfire. But we got the bonfire. Now, resting at it is debatable. I mean, actually, no. I don't think I'll pull the Capra Demon, so I think I'm good. I think I'm pretty good for the most part. Oh, I thought I heard movement. I think it's them just turning around to look at me because the Capra Demons always seem to want to, like, look exactly where you are. For whatever reason. A. A. Oh, nice. They stagger. I like that. Now, here's something that'll be interesting. If I get to the Demon Ruin shortcut and I can't use it, like, let's say because I left the Chaos Servant Covenant and lost half of the offerings I gave. So let's say, oh shit. All right, so it's no problem, right? You just kill him as easily as you did at the beginning of the game, right? Lol, he takes a lot of damage too. Oh, wow. Okay, he's a total pushover. He's just way super intimidating. But, um... Yeah, so, like... Let's say I lost half my offerings and I don't have access to the shortcut. What I'll actually end up doing... Is I'll just fucking leave... And go join the Covenant. And give the en enough offerings again to, to open the shortcut. Oh god, I love how easy they are to kill. It's fucking magnificent. But uh yeah, at the end of this path, we're actually gonna get um the Chaos Ember, I believe. Which is mandatory if you want to platinum. Which obviously we do! Walk right up fucking close to you. That's what I'm saying, dude. Good night! Whoa, I almost glitched off the level. That would have been annoying. I do believe there are some more giant worms here. Yes, sir. Wow, that's annoying. Man, he's like really in my way. Mmm, bitch. Was good. I mean, they're too annoying. I, I gotta do that, dude. I think there's one more. If I remember correctly. Okay, there's... Oh! 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 Ooh! Okay, there's, uh... Oh, never mind. There's, uh... There's, uh, four more, actually. Ow! Wow, these things suck. I don't like them. Let's see if I can hit them both. Oh, that's sick. Oh, I only hit one that time. Oh my goodness. You're actually an asshole. You know that? Ah! 
Oh my god, this sucks, man. Well, this was this will be very slow, but this is a way to do it that's like sure fire. If I just keep running at him like that. Yeah, I guess I could... Okay, so a hit-and-run uh, tactic is actually pretty effective. Hell yeah. Now, these two might be a little trickier. I don't know if the hit-and-run tactic will work as well on them. Jesus. Ah, oh, nice. It works just as well on them. Wow, he didn't even care. Can you, like, care? <laughs> he doesn't even give a fuck, dude. Alright. Now that I've learned how to combat them, they're a lot easier to kill than I thought. It's, they just take a long time, so it's annoying. I love how half the time he doesn't even give a shit. Oh! Don't break my gear! I don't know if he does that, but I'm just assuming that he does. Now, technically, I don't even need to kill this one. I can just run right by him. Hello! Give me my amber, bitch. Hell yes! All right, I'm out. Peace. See ya. Fuck you. I ain't wasting my time with that. Now, uh, I do think it would be wise to rest at the bonfire again. Even though everyone will respawn. I'll probably just cut that out. Oh, what the fuck? I missed an item up there? What the hell? I saw that. There's an item behind the staircase. What the shit? How did I miss that? How did I do that? Seriously, how did I manage? Damn, that is hidden. I wouldn't have even seen this if I didn't go down there. Holy shit. All right, well, I'll uh, cut to when I, you know, I'm not repeating content that you've already seen. God, it literally took me like 30 seconds to kill those guys again. It, it was not hard at all. I'm um, just hoping this dickhead doesn't come sneaking up on me like a brick. Now, this, this one seems like he'll be a bitch. And actually, there's no point in killing him. There's nothing behind him. There's literally no point in killing him. Uh, the, there's a camper demon over there. He'll be a bitch. And then, I don't even know what's over here. Like, is there a reason? I think I just aggroed the fucking forest demon. Which sucks. Because I didn't want to. Or did I? Oh, yeah, I totally did. But it doesn't look like he's going to do anything about it. At least I hope not. Oh, there's, yeah, there's literally nothing over there. Like, what the fuck? This guy, however. This guy, however. Is a bitch! That's what I'm saying, dude, you little punk. Mmm, what do you say? What do you do? Soul of a brave warrior. Well, I'll say. Must have been pretty brave to die here. Alright. So. Oh. Um, this leads to the shortcut I was talking about. So I guess we'll find out if it exists. However, if I go in here, I don't think I can walk back. I might be able to. I guess I should probably get that first, or fucking... Yeah, I should probably grab that first. 
Wait, is that even possible? No, it's not. Never mind. Or is it? I don't know. Am I supposed to slide down that way to get it? I have no fucking clue, dude. But this does lead. Yeah, that's the door right there. And it's not open. Which means I am going to have to fucking... Huh. I wanted to do the fucking Solaire thing. It's not... The thing is, it's not mandatory for the Platinum. But I just wanted to do it anyway. Just cuz. But I'd have to run all the way back out. Alright, you know what? I really want to do it. Like, there's... There's not... Like, it's not really... There's no real point to it. But I just want to do it. I'm doing it. Fuck it. Okay, so I just wanted to try my luck. I ended up running back to the bonfire. Warped back to the Chaos Servant Covenant. I rejoined it. And I gave her 15 humanity. Which, um... Because originally to reach rank 2, I needed 30. And when I left her Covenant, I lost half of that. As a betrayal stipulation, right? So I gave her another 15, which should put me back up to 30. And, uh... I wanted to see if that would work. I can see right in front of me, the door has not opened, but um, now either I'm permanently locked out of getting the door to open, or I would have to beat a boss somewhere other than this one, because this one would screw Solaire, I believe, if I killed him. But any other boss in the game, uh, if I were to kill one, it might open the door, but I'm not willing to do that because um that would mean leaving this place and going and doing an entire another level and i don't want to fucking do that so all right i miss Solaire, so fuck it unless maybe if i beat this boss and come out come back and check and see if the door is open we'll see i'm not going to go down there just yet because i want to kill this boss first and when you kill this boss it actually brings you right back up to the uh chaos servant lady because there's an elevator that brings you back to her. So that's why I want to kill this guy. Now this boss I remember being pretty easy. We'll see if my memory serves me well. Ow. He fights similarly to the fucking... The Asylum Demon, right? So you would think... Fuck, that is not where I want him. Up against the wall is no good! Can you come over here, good sir? I'd try whipping a pyromancy at him, but I'm pretty fucking sure it's gonna do nothing. This battle theme, like, some of the music in this game... I mean, it's all composed by Motoi Sakuraba. Which is the same guy who does all the music in the Tale series, and because of that... You can hear the distinct similarities, like... So often I listen to a boss theme in this game, and it sounds like I'm playing a fucking Tails game. But uh, yeah, I can't have him up against the wall here. Could you? Could you move, good sir? And maybe not. Keep jumping backward like a fucking dick smack. You can see he's super easy. He has the exact same move set as the fucking ow asylum demon. Which makes him a bit of a pushover. I 
Actually, I think this is even the exact same battle theme that he has at the beginning. Yeah, it is. You fuck. Come on, you're almost dead. Don't be a prick about it. Just fucking die, dude. Woo! Oh, that's cool. Shite. Eh, you're dead as fuck. I don't even... Hey! None of that. None of that! Alright! There you have it. Dead as fuck. Demon Catalyst, hello! And, uh, the shortcut's just right ahead, but as I said, I am going to go check the door real quick. Just to see. You never know! Uh, I totally went the wrong way. <laughs> I didn't realize. I got all disoriented. All right. I thought one. I thought the way I came was the exit, and the fucking exit was the way I came. And the fucking, eh, it happens. It happens. And yeah. So I guess I'm permanently locked out of it, huh? Oh well. I would have really liked to have done that. I had this weird thought at the beginning of the game. That the stupid wall right next to her was the one that opens. I, I don't know why I thought that. It's because it's such a fucking um, shady wall. Like, why is it there? It looks like it goes somewhere important and then it doesn't. You know? It's so fucking misleading. Um, I believe down goes to where you're supposed to go. And up brings you to the elevator, which is where I want to go. What is that fucking sound? It sounds awful, I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. Oh my Google Plus. Oh, it's these guys. I didn't realize they make that sound. Good night. Give me my money. That's what I'm saying, dude. And then you walk up here, and then voila! Elevator. Oh, wait a minute. Does that go to where we're fucking... Oh, no, wait, no. This drops you right back down to where we just were. So it's a quick, easy way to get back there. Okay. That's all I needed to know. And as you can see, boom, brings me right back here, which is sweet. Because this is a Firekeeper bonfire, and I want my 10 flasks. You know I do. I will actually check that door one last time. Who knows? Maybe sitting at the fire, or at the bonfire, may have triggered advancement in the game. I don't know. I'll check one more time for good measure. We shall see. And as you can see, uh, wall still has not opened up, which sucks. Now, I am going to go and try and make this jump. I do not know if it's possible. <laughs> it is possible. Hell yeah. Sweet. Sweet. Oh, wow, just money? I'm going to run all the way down here just to make sure. There's probably nothing, though. Yep, or nothing. It's just there to fool you. Make you think. Oh, sorry, my boy. My boy. My little Hunkulees. Is there anything over here? Yes, no, maybe? Nope, nothing. What about down there? Like, if there's any items in front of the door, that'd be nice. Whoopsie, that was my thigh. I pressed the controller into my thigh, and that's what you get. Some accidental bullshit. Wait a minute, what the fuck? These are the... Okay, I don't see the sunlight maggot. These are... These are like... Maggots? But there's a unique one. That kills Solaire. So there's all these regular ones. 
and they just annoyingly run away from you. But the Sunlight Maggot is a unique one, and if you kill him, he, uh, Solaire won't die. Because Solaire, I love the lore behind it. Solaire sees it, and he's like, the light I've been searching for, because the Sunlight Maggot, like, glows. Actually, when you kill it, you get it as a helmet, and you can put it on and wear it, and it illuminates, which is amazing. It basically has the Skull Lantern's ability, but on your head, so you can just walk around and always have it lit. Which is amazing, because, like, if you did, like, if you went and saved Solaire early, and then went to go do the Tomb of Giants, that helmet would make that entire area, uh, ten times easier, which is fucking amazing. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this part. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly hope you enjoyed, and if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you guys left a like, subscribed, and went ahead and hit that notification bell. It would really help me out. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you again. And I will definitely see you. In the next one. Cheers, Solaire. He's dead as fuck. Sorry, man. I wanted to save you. I really did. Didn't work out in your favor, though. My bad. My bad.